Hey guys, CT Stealth here, and I'm here to demonstrate uh, how to create a spine. If you remember my last video, we did the feet and how to rig up both legs. Well, what I've done here is I've actually created a separate another leg so that I can show you the construction of the spine. Now, what we first need is we need the hip joint. So remember, um, you need to be in the front or side view in order to create joints, and you can actually create them in perspective, by the way, but for placement's sake, it's a lot easier to do it front side. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go to the joint tool, and I'm going to place two joints. The first one is going to be the upper. It, it, it's going to be above the first joint. I'll just I'll create them so you can see them. And okay, so now I have this first joint here. Now what this joint will be will be the uh, point in which the spine will connect to the it's like the lowest point in the spine almost a um, little bit above the hip and whereas this one this joint here will actually be the hip so what I'm gonna call this is I'm gonna call this the lower root and this will be the hip center <clears throat> and now we need to make sure that we've got these um, parented to one another so that they're influenced correctly. So I'm going to grab the left and right hip and I'm going to move them and put them under the hip center. So you can see that uh, I have these little two things that kind of look like bones but they're not bones. They're actually just uh, apparent but it looks like we've created bones so you need to be aware of that. Alright, so I have the lower root here, which will symbolize the, once again, bottom of the spine. And we need to check in perspective view to make sure that this is in position, which it is. It's directly in the middle. And now we need to actually start creating the spine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the side view here. And I'm going to do all of this in the side view. Now if you're familiar with the curvature of the spine, it is actually kind of like an S-shape, set backwards. So I need to mimic that, and I would be placing these based on my where my mesh is and how it's deforming. So I'm just going to do a series, I'm hold V, click uh, the lower root so it's highlighted, and I'm just going to create these series of spines and form an S-shape. Okay, now the actual number of the spine doesn't necessarily matter so much since I'm doing this kind of freehand, but uh, I get this kind of an S shape, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to go to the perspective view, which I've done, and I'm going to look at my local rotation axes, make sure they're all facing the same direction, which they are not. So I need to make sure all these joints are actually facing the same direction so that when they deform or bend, they'll rotate correctly. So I'm going to select, looks like the ones here, why is it not selecting, I'm clicking that, I have no idea why it's not selecting. Zoom a little bit. I guess I just wasn't close enough. Alright, so as you can see, all those X's are pointing to the left, whereas these X's are pointing to the right. And it doesn't really matter which way they're pointing. I just need to make sure that they're all pointing the same direction. So, there, I think I got them all. Okay, yep. That's all of them. So now I'm going to type in my milk command. You can do that here. You can do it in the script editor over here. But rotate 180, 0, 0. Uh, semicolon. Uh, control A, enter. And all the joints, except for that one. Oh, okay. I rotated in the wrong way. So rotate 90, 0, 0. Semicolon. No. 
a little wrong direction. So sometimes you just have to like kind of test it and see. There we go. So that was uh, rotate 100, rotate zero space 180 space zero semicolon. Okay, and now you can see that all the X's are pointing the right direction. Now, if you forgot how to get to that, uh, you can click the select by component type. Go over here to the question mark, right click, and go to local rotation axes, and you'll see them there. Okay, so now I need to create the well, I need to introduce this. It's called the uh, IK Spline Handle Tool. This is used for most of your splines and creating uh, certain points between uh, basically a series of joints, which would be the spine. So I'm going to go to the option box here, and I need to increase the number of spans here to four, and I need to turn off Auto Simplify. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to create a curve. Now, Auto Simplify. Um, what it's going to do is, it's going to that curve is going to have a number of ver uh, control vertices, and the auto simplify makes that be not as complex, and we need more influences, more realistic approach. So I'm unchecking that. If you would like to have something that has less control, you can click that and then adjust the number spans here. So I'm just going to click the first joint up here. Holding down the V, left click, and then select the lower joint. Hold down the V, left click, and it should give me a handle. All right. Now, I'm going to call this the spine IK, and this is the spine curve. All right. Now, you can look at your curve by hiding these joints that you created and uh, you can look at it there. Now I need to stop right now because I'm about running out of time so I'll see you in the next video.